Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a sticker. We've made it to the food destination. Oh, I should have got a Dunkin' Punch. Hi, welcome to Dunkin's. What can I get for you today? Hi, um, can I get a sausage, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel? Sausage, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel. Anything else? Um, and can I get two strawberry frosted donuts? Of course. And I think that's it. All right, so do you want to donate a dollar to the Joy Foundation? Sure. Awesome. All right, it's going to come to $9 exactly if it's the first window. Thank you. No problem. We donate in this house. This is literally, this Dunkin' Donuts usually has the longest line I've ever seen in my entire life. And right now there's only two cars in front of me. But I mean, this is my Alani new. Look at her, she's beautiful. 10 out of 10. Um, I, this is the first year I've tried it, like being a fitness person. Um, I love all the other Alani news. And I obviously love Whitney Simmons, the blue slush. I like the cherry slush too, but the blue slush and this are my favorites. It doesn't even like actually taste like a candied apple. It just tastes like apples. Or sorry, caramel apple. It just tastes like apples. No delicioso. I love my work boots in here and I think a pair of socks and it smells real funk. So that's fun. At least I know nobody will break in. <laughs> nobody wants to break into a nasty, nasty car. I really need to clean it. Like, it's bad. It's one of those things that I I want to start um, actually taking care of myself and, like, my health. And not only, like, my physical health, but my mental health. And I feel like cleaning my spaces will help me do that. Um, because I know it well. Um, okay, nine dollars. And is there a name we can put on our donation card? Uh, Abby. Abby. Thank Can you. Oh yeah, please. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Oh, my mom, she's. I'm so excited. Hell yeah. Transfer funds. Delicious. So there's a bunch of shit that I have to do in order like things that I want to get done in order for me to feel like I my space is clean and we also have a new roommate moving in in December so we have to clean out the spare bedroom which used to be partially my office um, and partially storage uh, so we need to go through that both Ashley and I uh, but that's a group project which I'd imagine we'll be doing later when I get back um, I mean I won't be back for several hours but we'll be doing that when I get back and over the next couple weeks. So Joel has somewhere to live. <laughs> um, and obviously the plate clean my truck. But I need to go to my parents' house to do that. Um, so I can actually like clean it. I need to purchase. Am I recording? Okay, yes I am. Oh my god. That would have sucked. I'm going the wrong way. I always do that. I always think I need to get on at this exit, at, at this ramp, and I don't. It's the next one. Damn it. <laughs> well, we're turning around. Took a detour. It's fine. Oh, God. My life is crazy. 
I think it actually it's not even my life. I think it's just me. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, so, spare room. Need to clean that out. Um, it's a big thing. And um, my bedroom needs to be cleaned up. I put away all of my clean laundry last night, which is insane. Um, because I never put away my laundry. <laughs> and it felt so good to put it all away. I don't know why I don't do it more. I think it's just a anxiety, ADHD, bullshit thing that I do. Um, but it felt great. <laughs> and I was happy. Uh, I have two loads of laundry that I have to do. But laundry is a normal thing that I, I have to do. So I'm not, like, for my mental health, I'm not super worried about that right now. That's a chore day thing. Um, clean out my, or yeah, clean the spare room, clean out my truck, and kind of mini detail it. Um, that's what I like to do, like wipe down the dashboard and my radio and everything and vacuum. And I need to get air fresheners for it. Um, but those I get at Bath and Body Works because I have the little thingies. Um, and I need to start getting back to the gym, like on a regular basis. I think I might join a different gym um, than the one that I'm at now. I am technically still at Planet Fitness. I have to cancel Planet Fitness. Um, but I started working out at Workout Anytime in Northampton, and it's a good gym, It's but it's small, and it doesn't have a whole lot of the weight training equipment that I want to have. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, there's a, the zoo health club that opened in Seabrook. Um, and I think I want to tour it first. I want to see what it looks like on the inside because I've seen what the one in Concord looks like and I like it. Um, imagine they're not super different but I've seen yeah I've seen Conquer and it looks great they have a lot of variations in equipment and they have a sauna which I have wanted a sauna in a gym forever and there is none in the area that I live in or that I have lived in and I can't like I couldn't find a good one like a good gym that's not Planet Fitness and I don't particularly like Planet Fitness. I don't have anything against it. It's just I want to be able to do hip thrusts on not a Smith machine <laughs> and not have to use dumbbells or just straight up plates. I know they make that hip strap now. There's a company that makes that hip strap that you hook into um, uh, barbell plates and do it that way, but I don't want to buy another piece of equipment, and I can go to this gym and dedicate a year to this gym. I think it'll be great, and it looks great, and I've, like, done my research, and I want to, like, that's the one that I picked, because there's two that have gone in near me, but I'm moving in six months, so if I get a membership in the city that I work in, it makes sense. So there's Planet Fitness in Seabrook, and there's also now the zoo. And I, like I said, not a huge fan of Planet Fitness. Um, and the zoo seems like a good fit for me. So I think I might do that. I'll obviously take you along on the journey and whatever. But um, I think we're going to get the whole healthy lifestyle journey back in the swing of things because I went back and listened to a vlog and realized that I was heavy fucking breathing in the back of the, like, behind the camera the whole goddamn time. And that's not cute. So, <laughs> I am going to do that, I think. But, yeah. I think it'd be great. And I don't have a whole heck of a lot more to say at this point, so... I'm gonna throw in some B-roll of the uh, nice 
brown New England weather. <laughs> Adorable. right now I forgot to end the vlog yesterday because I was working yesterday as well and I spent most of the day in my bed um, but I'm on my second day of my work week and I forgot to end this vlog <laughs> so my sister ended up losing her game which sucks but I played great it was awesome um, it was really good to see her I haven't seen her since over the summer um, I'm planning on going to visit again soon, but, well, probably not soon, but maybe December or January. Um, but yeah, it, uh, and now I'm at work. But accomplished quite a bit today. My role has changed here. Uh, I am now the sanitation department lead, basically glorified janitor. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I had a meeting with the owner today about uh, what my actual like duties are and um, 
I think I get it. I think I understand. Um, and I think everything will be great. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and the vlog because I forgot. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna try to lace all this bolt together. Um, I have nothing else to say, so thank you. I love you. Appreciate you. Goodbye. <laughs>